Greetings folks, this is X of JSA here with GOD Gaming and today we're going to do another tutorial in Elite Dangerous. Uh, a buddy of mine recently got the game and he came over to TeamSpeak and I was helping him set up his GUI color, uh, showing him where to do it and I stumbled across this in settings and it said FOV which stands for Field of Vision uh, and it was set at 60 and this is what it looks like now. Uh, I'm in a T9 and I do look around with it a little bit. You get some pretty drastic results um, but I think it's going to really come in handy for you guys who really like to do the exploring or with the big canopy ships, you know, such as this T9. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, again, guys, uh, if you've done any of the tutorials on, you know, uh, doing the GUI or anything like that, then you know how to get in there and find your settings. Uh, but for you guys who are not uh, familiar with it, who have not done it, uh, you're either going to find it in one of two places. Either the drive you've downloaded it to, uh, or for me, myself, which is an app data. Uh, and another little thing guys, uh, make sure when you uh, have this on, I'm gonna go to view here real quick, make sure you have the hidden items box checked here guys, because if not, um, you're going to go nuts trying to find a file that you can't see. But anyways, once you find your file guys in graphics, uh, in the settings right here, now I use a notepad, other people may open it up with different things, but you open it up right here, and this is the line we're going to work on, the FOV. Now it's default is set at 60. Now guys, when you do this, please make a copy of this. So if you do mess up, too bad, or if you wipe out something and you're not sure, uh, you can always, uh, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, replace the file. Now I'm going to do a little more uh, googling around, or doodling around with this stereo focal distance, because once you set it at such a high distance, you, you get a very weird looking thing. So we're going to bump it up to 80 on this, and we're going to go ahead and save it. Alright guys, now as you see, nothing's happened here, it still looks the same, but we're going to uh, go ahead and stop the recording now, we're going to reload the game, and uh, you guys will see what 80% looks like on your field of vision. Alright guys, we've reloaded it now, set at 80 for the field of vision, and as you can see, there's already a dramatic change. Uh, you can see quite a bit more of the center console there, and as we look around here, get a bit of a better view. That's pretty nice, and it's not too bad. As you can notice, it's kind of got a little bit of a fish eye here, as you see it when I turn. And I'm wondering if the stereo vision will uh, help that a little bit. But there is 80%, gentlemen. Uh, back once again. Now, the field of vision has been set uh, in Elite Dangerous at 100%, uh, which is... Wow. Uh, it really gives you quite the fish eye look going in there. Uh, but it definitely reveals a lot of your, uh, your view here. I'm not thinking I'm like it 100%, guys. Uh, let's open it up. Now, another line that I'm going to be messing with here in this, uh, see what we can get, is this down here, the stereo focal distance. Now, I think that's what's giving our fisheye. So we're going to goof just here. We're going to try something different, guys. We're going to bump this to 50, just to see what we get. Uh, guys, and again, uh, if you're not copied or saved these files, I would not recommend that you do this. But we're going to close this down, we're going to reload it, see what we get, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this video up and get it uploaded to YouTube for you guys. Guys, this is XJC again here, back after the reload, and I changed the stereotopic view to 50, and it seems to do a little better with the fisheye. So if you want to go to the 100%, uh, I would recommend that you bump this to 50. But as a matter of fact, let me let me screw around with this just a little bit more before you do try to change it because I don't want to steer you guys wrong. Let's bump this to 75. And you guys are seeing me doodle around with this live, so uh, you get to see the live results as it were for recording. All right, guys, we're gonna load this back up and see what we got. All right, guys, after doodling around just a little bit here, uh, I came back to it and I bumped it back uh, to 100%. I diddled around with it and I set this up to 75. And it seems to do alright. It gets rid of the stereo vision that we were getting there. It don't seem to be quite as bad. And if you look at the dash there, it's still extended pretty good. It kind of pulls you forward a bit uh, when you adjust the stereo vision. And it helps a lot with that fish eye. Kind of gets rid of the fish eye a little bit there. So there you go, guys. This is uh, it for this tutorial. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, though, uh, 
I'm gonna buy a few more ships and uh, you know do a few field of vision tests in there if you guys are curious about uh, various ships and the field of views and I'm just gonna throw those up in uh, screenshots so you guys don't get to watch me do all that boring stuff and uh, guys I appreciate it uh, if you've enjoyed this or found this helpful please like uh, subscribe share and most importantly have fun out there